On behalf of Brock University, it is my pleasure to help launch you on your grand graduate studies journey. Before you embark, it is important to acknowledge the first researchers. The first researchers are the indigenous people that carefully studied their surroundings and shared their discoveries with others. Those researchers that were here long before you, before Brock, and even before Canada. Those that explored the traditional lands of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe. Their experiences provide us with guidance as you begin your journey. There are many similarities between your graduate studies journey and a canoe trip. Both begin with excitement and trepidation. Excitement about what you'll discover and worry about the challenges you may encounter. Essential to the success of a canoe trip and your grad studies is preparation. That is so glad to see that many of you are preparing today, finding the resources that you will need to support your success. Some of those resources are tangible objects and some of them are people. Some of them you will pick up along the way, but it's important that you keep your eyes open for them for when the student is ready, the teacher appears. We all hope that this presentation, this preparation will get you to times like this, where everything is just as it should be, calm, peaceful, and you feel enlightened. But let's not fool ourselves; It won't always be picture perfect. There will be times that despite all of your preparation, your intentions, that the waters will get rough. Times where you get tossed about, take on water, fight to stay afloat, get stressed about a missed deadline, not performing to your expectations. But please remember, during these times, you need to push on. And unlike this solar kayaker, you are not alone. In fact, there are many others on this same journey with you because you are part of a learning community completing the journey together. Never forget that we are here as an institution to support your success, to paddle along with you, to help guide your journey, to help you as you explore new areas and make new discoveries. Our goal for you is for you to be able to revel in the hard work and to bask in the glow of your discoveries. But before you head off onto your journey, we would like you to remember where you came from. We would like you to remember this quick stats lesson. Very often, as part of your research methods quantitative analysis course, you'll have the opportunity to look at statistics and look at samples. So this is a great visual that envisions the world as a sample of 100 people. And when we look closer at that, we see that if the world was a village of 100 people, only five of them would be English speakers. It's important to remember that for us here at an English speaking institution, that we are in fact in the minority and we have an obligation to share our discoveries and our knowledge with the rest of the non-English speaking world. This visualization highlights global inequities. It highlights how that even though there are large numbers of people that have more than they need to eat, it's important to remember that many are underfed This visual has caused a lot of outrage across the world. This is where the term, the 1% comes from. It refers to the fact that 1% of the planet controls 50% of all the money. As we point out this inequity, 
it's important to turn that same lens back on ourselves. For when we look at global university attendance, we see that we are in the minority. Only a small percentage of the world's population has the opportunity to attend college or university. Getting here today is a great accomplishment on your part. I tell you this not to stroke your ego, but to bring attention to the fact that as a graduate student, you are more privileged than the 1%. Less than 1% of the world's population has the opportunity to be a graduate student. It's important to remember that and to think about that and remember the privilege that it is to be here. To be part of that 1%, it's important to check your privilege and to remember the responsibility that comes with that. With privilege comes responsibility. All of us in academia have a great responsibility. Thus, as you start your journey into the 1%, I want to remind you of your responsibility. You have a responsibility to stay humble, be thankful, support each other, give back to your community, and most importantly, honor those who have gone before you. Honor those that have sacrificed to get you to where you are today. Honor those that never had a chance to partake in this graduate journey. Most importantly, honor those that had the talent, the skill, and the ability but they never had the opportunity. Please remember this responsibility and remember to make the most of your journey. If you can do all this, I'm confident that you will enjoy your journey. Thank you.